I've got a load of DMs about this, this conversation. It's interesting. Right. This is how it works. Winter time, things start to slow down. You've got the recession, cost of living higher, things are getting tight. The bailout money is a little bit dropping at the moment. So this is what tends to happen. All the good bricklayers, the good the bricklayers good reputations, right? Their work starts to dry up residential. So what they do is they nick up on, nick back on site, tuck in somewhere for a bit of security for the next three, four months of the weather breaks. Now by them tucking back in on site, it gives the subcontractor a better choice of labour. His choice now, his selection has now gone up. So it's a bit like a Man City from 1996 to a Man City of 2023. Do you see what I'm saying? More money, about more selection of trails. So what has happened is, where we've had a shortage of bricklayers the last couple of years, it's been a lot of shit getting away of it, what we call chances. And fair play to them, fair play to them. But now, the subcontractor's got a good choice of selection of labour. He will employ the good and start getting rid of the shit. So basically, how it used to work was, you had 10 trails, you probably had two to three decent trails, two okay, the rest were just shit. You know, that's how it is. I'm putting it in straight terms, right? Now he's going to have probably seven good trails. So he can afford to get rid of the shit, which we call the chances. Now, if you're young coming in a train, you've only been on the trail five years, six years, right? You're going to find it hard. So this is what you do. You drop your money. You say, you say to the foreman, say, John, listen, I know I'm on 180 a day. Can you put me on 150? I just want to stay employed and learn. Because when you're young, you work to learn. You don't work to, to earn, yeah? So you've got to think of them aspects. So the foreman then go, well, do you know what? Yeah, we'll take you on. And mark my words, you'll be respected for that. Invest in yourself. And I guarantee within two, three months, your money will go back up, right? It's better than doing that than sitting at home doing nothing or trying to challenge it elsewhere. Right, now, if you are one of these chances, let's be honest, you've got away of it for the last two years because there's been a shortage of labour, right? You've had your collar felt, it is what it is, so learn from it. St analyse why you've been fucking binned, right, or laid off, analyse it, and put the wrongs right, right? So, I just want to talk about saying very, very quickly with you. Yep. Right, so this is how I'm going to go, right? This is your traditional brick ladder, right? So that's his line there. Yeah, this is the starting line. So we call this the starting line. Yeah, and that's the traditional brick ladder there. Now, what you're getting there, evidently, is you're getting some brick ladders, right, who come on, they watch all this YouTube. I've even seen brick ladders. Listen, mark me my cards if I'm wrong. If you're 33 and you're promoting tutorials on YouTube, right, say, for example, you've done two years on the odd, left score 16, 18, then got on the trail, three, four years improving, that makes you 22. Then after you come out of improving, it's called throwing your arm, where you're not quite there, but you're getting there. Another five years of that, so you're about 28. So really, you've only been laying bricks properly and knowledge-wise for four or five years, and you're trying to teach youngsters how to fucking lay bricks. That's my whole disagreement here, because I, I, I'm about... <coughs> I tell you the same what I got told when I was young, right? To look for greatness, you have to look up. You can't look down. Because when you look down, that's inexperience. That cannot give you greatness. When you look up, time, experience equals knowledge. That's the greatness, okay? So, like Jesus said, you was born with two ears and one mouth. So listen more and talk less. Right, so this is what's happening. You're getting these brick lads now, especially some of these youngsters, oh, they're watching it and they're practicing and it's cool, put the fucking idiot stick up, get the clamp out, run the lay, the lay, the lay. I see it all the time, get messages. Right, let me tell you what you do. You leapfrog to here. So we're gonna call this brick lad the matrix. He's here. That's the starting point from there. Now he's leaped to there. Now when you come up with a problem on the job, for example, um, Oh, we're going to extend this um, this English bomb wall by a square metre. How many more headers do we need? How many headers do we need? He's standing there going, uh, um, uh, oh, John, oh, one minute, get the Google out. Because you don't fucking know. Do you know why you don't know? Because you've leapfrogged. You've missed all the micro techniques. Or, for example, how can we change the steel on this bit here? What's the weight load on this on this brick pit? Is it is it suitable? Uh, I don't know, John. Let me ask. 
Bully. <laughs> right? It can't happen because you've not learned substantially, consistently. Right? There's no foundation here. So when you become a problem, this dad then filters off. He filters off. He filters off because he's been fucking found out. The Matrix, the man, how many videos you post up, how you're looking, could you not? Show me your knowledge, right? Whereas this additional brick that what he's done is, he's learned. He's gone from the starting point to this point, to that 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 point, to get there. So here are all learning points. These are all programs. These are what I call the micro techniques. This is all knowledge. So by the time that brick lad gets there, he's got such a good foundation. The micro techniques, he's not neglected anything in his game. This guy here has missed all that out because he's watching these videos thousand pound an hour, 500 pound an hour. It's not. Youngsters, don't be misled. You have to invest in yourself, right? You have to invest in yourself. You have to get to these properties here to get to there. Otherwise, it's not sustainable. You're gonna just fall, and you'll only ever be known as a line monkey. And you know what that is? Semi-skilled. And now I love my trade, and I want the best for everyone. So what I'm saying to you is learn and educate yourself thoroughly. Invest in yourself. I take bricks home, practice building corners with sand and lime. When I got consistent with the stock brick, I go to a wire cut brick, then I get engineering's. So I was quite consistent with different material. And then the process of thinking, when you're building in your garage or on the slab outside, there's no pressure. But when you take it into the workplace, there's workplace pressure, the foreman's looking at you. You need to make sure you're mentally right to go in there and then go, boom, we're off. And that's what it's about. Right, second point. It's not the subbies problem. If you've got kids, if you've got bills, if you've got the Mercedes on HP, if you've got the Rolex, right? It's not the subbies problem. One minute, Benny. They come in, mate. One minute. It's not the subbies problem. That's a you problem. So when the money cuts, you can't go, oh, we can't take a cut in money because of this and that. Because if you was thorough, you wouldn't be worried about that. It's not down at the subby to pay your fucking bills, is it? So especially while you're young, invest in yourself. If you want to go out and get the car on HP and look at the bollocks and buy this and buy that, it's not sustainable. It's not sustainable. Now, this is the reason why we're now suffering as a trade in terms of quality. In fact, I'm going to run this through you now. I see many pictures of walls online, right? And they're passable, but they're incorrect. Whether it be a bonding, whether it be the size of the piers in conjunction with the size of the wall, a bonding problem, uh, a finishing problem. But I'm seeing more wrong walls now than I'm seeing right walls. Almost to the point, the right walls, when I put one up, people are saying it's wrong. So the wrong have become right and the right have become wrong. And this is what I'm trying to stress along my whole platform. Learn your trade. Don't be, we've all fucking been there. Do you think I've not had work taken down? Do you think I've not been knocked and been out of work? Learn from it. But the only way you learn from it is by investing in yourself. These little platforms will build you a good platform, a good foundation to sustain recessions, economic downturns, upturns, whatever you want to call it. This man here is this is the man. The patch, the fucking magnet, the idiot sticks, the clamps, 100 pound an hour, chucking it on fucking Instagram, running about, promoting all four on each other. Good, get on with it. Do you know why? Because you make me more sought after. So every youngster now, I hope you listen to this and I've explained that correctly. Invest in yourself. Be someone.